Throughout the Commonwealth, every day, there's at least one ambulance involved in a vehicle crash. Simulation training identifies bad habits, teaches good habits, and it's repetition. Our goal was to create repetition uh, throughout the emergency vehicle service operators uh, throughout our region. We're in a driving simulation unit it's called the EMS Virtual Drive. It's the regional asset to support driving training throughout the region. UPMC has a long-standing relationship with EMS providers across the region. We provide medical direction and support and training. This just allows us to extend that to the next level. Through simulation, we can challenge them with very unique events that they do not encounter every day. We can throw scenarios at students that you typically you cannot do out on a city street or a country road. And, and we can change the time of day. You know, we can be training at noon, but it can be pitch black at, at night. We can add rain, we can add snow, we can add fog. Uh, we can change the factor of how they have friction or they lose friction. These are things that has never ever been done with an ambulance out in the streets. It's extremely realistic. As you saw uh, Phil and Sandy behind me, you saw the as they cringed, as they were gripping the steering wheel. Uh, even though you drive that scenario over and over, you know that bicycle is going to turn in front of you. It still creates some apprehensive uh, when you're actually operating the simulator. We have 135 ambulance services uh, in our 10 county region. It's going to be open up to all of them. Our goal is to have this on the road at least four days a week. We're really excited to get this out on the road, take it to the, to the EMS providers, to the EMS uh, stations, and uh, work to provide cost-effective, high-quality education.